Another important thing that I have seen with people is that uh, when we take a decision, a mind is not in the right vibration. There's so many thoughts that are coming to my mind or that are coming into my mind. So many thoughts that are floating and all of a sudden out of thousands of these thoughts, I choose and pick one thought and I try to create that vibration. I try to emotionalize that thought, project that thought. But I have chosen only one thought out of many thoughts. Whatever the other thousands of thoughts that are left away that I didn't choose, maybe those thoughts are contradictory to the thought that I picked up. Maybe those vibrations do not support this. The other vibrations remain inside me. The, the contradicting signals, the opposing signals remain within me. And in that chaos, I just pick up one thought. And that thought is not strong enough to create that vibration in the universe. The universe cannot take it as an input. Because it is not a firm thought. This happens because we do not meditate. In the absence of meditation, I cannot strongly come to a very important conclusion. When I start meditating, my concentration starts improving. I develop that power of focus. Unless I develop that power of focus, I have so many other thoughts that do not support this thought. And my universe takes all my thoughts as input. It does not pick up one thought. It cannot. Everything that goes into my mind is an input to the universe, is an input to my emotional positioning system. Now what happens when I give contradictory thoughts, when I give away contradictory thoughts, what I get in return is a contradictory occurrence. Sometimes I am successful, sometimes I am not successful. Sometimes I am doing good at what I wanted to do, sometimes I am not doing good at that. What do I do then? I need to learn the art of meditation. Meditation clears our mind totally. It empties our mind. It creates a big void inside our mind. The most important function of meditation is to create that void in me so that I am totally free. I am totally blank for some time. No thoughts coming. When I have no thoughts coming, my energy is total. My energy is 100%. My energy is complete. And when I want to invite a thought, all my energies are invested into that thought. And that thought starts becoming a reality. This is the thought that the universe can take as an input. When I have contradictory thoughts, as we understood, the universe cannot pick and choose one of them. It's not the way. It's not the law. The law is I need to have a very, very firm mind. To create a firm mind, to create a focused mind, meditation is the most important tool that is available with human beings. People who meditate, they have better chances of uh, producing the outcomes, getting the outcomes, in comparison to people who do not meditate. I am not prescribing just one type of meditation here. In some of my earlier videos, uh, there are some meditation techniques available. You can use any method, but the, the most important thing is you should clear your cluttered thoughts. You should be able to unclutter your mind. Once you unclutter your mind, you are free of your, all your thoughts. You are free from your past memories. Memories that say no. Memories that say something differently. The alternative that I have developed in my past. Once I unclutter them, then only I am in the right position to take a new decision. 
I am in the right position to plant a thought in the universe. So, the second reason why the law of attraction does not work is because we do not meditate. It's not that the law does not work, the law has to work. But for the law to work, it, it, it has, you know, I have to fulfill certain conditions because the law understands these conditions. And these laws are natural. You cannot manipulate, you cannot maneuver them, you cannot uh, sort of bend them to your advantage. You cannot do them. You have to flow with the law. The laws cannot flow with you. And if you are in sync with the law, all your thoughts go into the universe as input.